Well, hello, Dan. Welcome back to Mr. E's Mysteries and Magics. I am posting this video on Christmas Day 2020. So, Merry Christmas to all of you. For those of you who celebrate Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. For those of you who celebrate some other holiday at this time of year, season's greetings and thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for commenting and thank you for just stopping by if you're kind of an irregular. Um, anyway, uh, I've got my Charlie Brown Christmas tree right here, and uh, you can see I have uh, a red and green motif going for my pad on this video. That is because we here at Mr. E's Mysteries and Magics will spare no expense to make our videos as exciting and as interesting as possible, as long as that expense is not over one dollar. So that's what you're getting, folks. All right, now, as for, we're going to get that out of the way before we uh, get started here because we're going to need some room later, but right now I'm going to put a little bit of coal in your stocking with this Christmas present. Oh, the COVID outside is frightful, but the beer inside's delightful. I bought out the entire store. Let it pour, quarantine, let it pour. Ah! Okay, no one should have to listen to me sing I Can't Carry a Tune if you strapped it to my back. So anyway, I thought I'd just toss that out there for you so that you can run screaming into the streets with your fingers in your ears saying, cut them off, cut them off, never again. Anyway, um, I'd like to go back in time just a little bit, like about two years, two years ago today, underneath my Christmas tree, a real Christmas tree, not the Charlie Brown Christmas tree, I, uh, I found this, uh, a little gift from my family. Uh, a set of four basic magic effects um, that they found. They thought I would uh, enjoy this, and I do. I, I've actually been able to use these things um, very effectively in some cases over the last couple of years until COVID struck uh, almost a year ago and had to slow things down. But anyway, I thought I'd do a little unboxing. This is Unboxing Day, the 26th of December's Boxing Day. This will be Unboxing Day. So let's take a look at what's in the box. There are Four effects, as you may have seen from the front. Uh, you get this n really nifty doodle little booklet here on how to do all the tricks. Okay, that's it. Quarter of a page for each effect, and the back is totally blank. All right, I guess that's for notes. I don't know. That's all you get, folks. Like I said, I spare no expense. Anyway, the first thing that um, I noticed in here, which was kind of cool. I have to carefully take this out before I drop it. Uh, this little dice effect. Now... Um, this got messed up. I'm going to have to reset them. Uh, give, bear with me as I speak here. Uh, this is a, one of the effects that comes in the box, but it's a common effect. It's been around for a while, and I know that I've seen it elsewhere, but I don't know how it works. Um, for whatever reason, these dice have a, a, the one and the four in red and the rest of the numbers in blue as you can maybe see there. Uh, these are just common ordinary dice. They are rounded on the corners, uh, but you can use these in the game of Monopoly or anything else you want. The top of the box has ridges, uh, thicker ridges along the sides and thinner ridges on the front and back. I don't know how that works. I don't know what the physics of this is. If anybody knows, please let me know. I've tried to look it up. I haven't been able to find anything. Maybe the curvature of the corners of the dice has something to do with it. I suspect that it does. And what you do is you take this nifty little box, which looks totally innocent, give it one of those, and boom, boom. Instead of the ones, you now have all the five. The ones are along here, the fives are on the top, and if I do it again this way, the ones will pop up. If I do it back this way, uh, the number on this side, the six will pop up. And that's what it does. It switches over the, the dice, um, from one number to the next, all six at once. And again, I have no idea how that works, but it's cool. And uh, it does, uh, you know, it does work well for uh, kids. And, and sometimes even adults get a kick out of it. So I've been able to use that on a couple of occasions. So that's kind of cool. Here's a very common thing that uh, you uh, have all seen before for sure. If I can get it out of here without uh, dropping it, which doesn't seem like, again, well, you know what, let's move on to something else instead then, all right, let's move on to something, we'll put this aside. This is uh, a deck of cards, comes with a deck of cards, as you can see, all right, just a standard deck of cards, and uh, you can even open it up, 
There you go. There are the cards. All right, just to give you an idea, there's uh, there's what the ace looks like. All right, you can put that right back in the box, and you close up the box. Okay, and you can take the deck right on out of this sleeve here, and uh, you know show common ordinary deck of cards, almost bicycle like, but not quite. And then you can put them right back into the sleeve. Do it this way with the head first. Slide them right back into the sleeve, and the deck disappears. Completely gone. Not anywhere to be found. Of course, if you're really cool, you can bring the deck right back. There it is. And yes, it is indeed the deck of cards. The same deck of cards that you had a moment ago. So, yeah, again, kind of cool. Um, Probably not going to fool any magicians, but again, it's something that's really fun to do for kids. Uh, probably, eh, I don't know that it would fool um, an adult, but it would certainly make them suspicious as to what you're doing. But anyway, that's the second effect. Now, let me see if I can get the third effect. There it is. Okay, now I get my hands on it. Ta-da! You got it, friends. The classic Fake thumb. And my scarf, my red scarf is gone. And yes, indeed, you do get a red little red scarf that you can use. Or silk, not even, not quite a scarf, but a little piece of silk that you can use with the fake thumb. Okay, classic fake thumb. Nothing, nothing unusual about that. We all know what that's all about. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just kind of stick that there like that. And finally, here's the one that I have the most fun with. And uh, I do this with kids, and it's it's real, real classic. You've got this empty box, and they can see that there is nothing inside. All right, I'm sure I'm trying to hold it to the right angle of the camera. There you go. All right, you can see nothing's inside. Maybe my hand there will act as a, a background, and totally empty. So you do that, and all of a sudden, there's a nickel inside. Where did that come from? So that's the one that I like to do. Now, I'm going to point out a little thing here, a little accent that we had, a little mark on this thumb. Uh, one of our uh, dogs on Christmas night, actually, kind of got into that. I dropped it on the floor, and the dog got to it before I did. And my family felt so bad, they sent me out and let me buy another one of these. Okay, box number two. Now, this is interesting because these were purchased at a store in America called Walmart. Very well known to Americans. I don't know how well known it is outside of America. It's the major brick and mortar department store in the United States. And um, yeah, they do a lot of uh, online stuff too, of course, now as everybody does. But it's basically a, a brick and mortar store. So what they do, like most stores, at least in America, is they have half price sales for Christmas stuff beginning December 26th. So the 26th of December of 2018, I went back to see if I could find a replacement for the uh, thumb. I wasn't really going to get into it, but my family felt so bad about it that, that they, because I, they know how much I love magic. So they said, go ahead and do it. So I went out there. Now this was six bucks. Okay. Because it says holiday time on it and nothing else on here, a couple of bells, you know, these little bells and little logo up there nothing else on it has anything to do with the holidays but it was on sale for half price so i got this one for three bucks so nine bucks i got all this stuff all right so we're going to unbox this and it is of course essentially the same stuff there's there's the uh the uh deck of cards okay the deck of cards routine and of course the dice routine Ta -da! they're all mixed up now uh, I'm going to hold off on this one for a second, and of course, there's the there's the uh, instructions and the much better fake thumb that is not creased or anything like that. And it's actually a fairly uh, serviceable fake thumb, believe it or not. It's not not the greatest that you could buy. It's certainly cheap, but you know, from a distance and with kids, uh, and sometimes even with adults, uh, it, it works. You can you can get away with it, especially if you kind of ta-da and get rid of it quickly. But I want to talk a little bit about these two items. Uh, we're going to put these aside because we, we're not going to use those. But as you can see, let's start with this one. It's already got a nickel in it. 
Okay, so what I've done, this is the original one. That's the one I first pulled out. And then I do the routine. I kept, The nickel comes out. And then I distract them with something and pull an old switcheroo and pull this one out. And there's, there it is with the nickel in it. And uh, I say, be cool, because now it's got two nickels. All right? And, uh, and they have no idea where they come from. I actually put a little piece of tape on the second one so that when I'm reaching into my pocket, I can feel underneath and know exactly which box I'm taking out. This really blows people's minds when that happens. And what I do is I, I give the nickels to the kids. And, well, I, I give the nickels to the kids. Kids, I tell them if you are very careful with it and don't lose it, put it in a little plastic bag and stick it in your drawer. In three years, it turns into a pony. A magical pony. And if you put a little tiny piece of toothpick on Thomas Jefferson's nose, it turns into a unicorn. A magical unicorn. And whether or not you get a unicorn or a pony, it's magical because it poops candy. In the summertime, you get gummy bears, and at Christmas time, you get candy canes. And of course, everybody's laughing. You know, the family uh, parents are laughing. And I turn to Dad and I say, Dad, don't you be laughing because I can sell you some very special hay that will cause the pony or the unicorn to pee beer and it'll make it come out cold. Don't be fooled. This is real magic. Anyway, so everybody gets a big laugh out of that. So that's what I do. This is my favorite one of the four and, and I get a lot of laughs out of that. The second thing I like to do is with two thumbs, you can really kind of blow people's minds because you can actually you know, stuff things like, you know, stuff it, have two of them in your hand like this, do the stuff routine into one, and this one here, right, right put the stuff routine into, into this one, da -da, da 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 stuff it in, and actually slide this one onto your hand, and pull this on, and then think, oh, you got a fake thumb, but no, everything's, missing. go ahead, look at my thumb, sure, there's nothing there. In the meantime, you've got it on here, and you're taking this, and you're hiding it somewhere else, and they have no idea where the silk actually ended up going. So I've been able to use that not too often, once or twice that way. Uh, I've been able to use this thing um, half a dozen times or so. It's a lot of fun. I make sure that the nickels here, all these three nickels, are they're all the same, right? They're the, they have the same year on them, the same uh, mint mark P, the D, whatever it happens to be. And uh, nobody can tell what's going on. It's it's a lot of fun. These are cool things to use. Um, I've had fun with them. They're cheap. They're kid stuff, but they work. They work. They're very, very cool. And like I said, you can just plain have a lot of fun with them. So I'm going to put some of these things uh, out of the way here because uh, in a minute I am about to perform my favorite bit of magic which is the ability to make copious amounts of beer disappear. All right, and I am going to use this magical, real magical bottle cap opener. You like that? Look at that. Uh, this was actually forged by um, my current son-in-law. Uh, out of a piece of iron. Look at that. Is that something else? And you hold it like this. All right, you got that. You hold it in your grip like that. See the little hook? There's a little hook there. And you just kind of pop that over the top of the... Yeah, I know. They all do twist off now, but this is so much more fun. Ah, there you go. All right, there. And the other cool thing about this is if you hold it this way, Man, that's a tremendous piece of thing to use in a bar fight. All right, you've got that thing going for right there in your hand. And boy, you can you can uh, protect yourself pretty darn well with that. So, now, I am about to make the beer disappear. And I know that during this entire video, you are were wondering whether or not I was actually going to drink this stuff. And I didn't do it right at first for one very simple reason. I wanted you to wonder whether or not I was going to do it because... I wanted to leave you baffled. Merry Christmas to you all. God bless us all, everyone. And may all your magic tricks baffle someone.